Guess how much I love you. Today we have a book named Guess How Much I Love You, You Short Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. In a lush meadow surrounded by swaying grasses and delicate wildflowers, two furry hares named Nut Brown and Little Nut Brown shared a special bond. Nut Brown, the older and wiser of the two, had a heart full of love for his energetic companion, Little Nut Brown. Together, they embarked on adventures that were as boundless as the sky itself. One sunny morning, as the golden sun bathed the meadow in warmth, Little Nut Brown turned to Nut Brown with a twinkle in his eye. Guess how much I love you? he asked, his voice filled with a mixture of excitement and curiosity. Nut Brown smiled down at Little Nut Brown, his eyes sparkling with affection. Oh, I don't know, he replied, his tone gentle and kind. How much do you love me? Little Nut Brown stretched his arms wide, his tiny paws reaching as far as they could. I love you all the way to the tip of my toes, he exclaimed, his voice filled with earnestness. Nut Brown chuckled softly, his heart swelling with warmth. He stretched his own arms wide, his paws reaching out to meet little Nut Brown. Well, I love you all the way to the tip of your toes and back, he said, his words carrying a promise that went beyond the horizon. As the days turned into weeks and the seasons changed, Nut Brown and little Nut Brown continued to share their love in playful and heartfelt ways. They leaped through fields of flowers, their laughter echoing like music in the wind. They danced beneath the moonlit sky, their joy spilling over like stardust. Through each adventure, Nut Brown and Little Nut Brown found creative ways to express their love for each other. They compared their love to the height of the trees, the sparkle of the stars, and the depth of the river. But no matter how grand their comparisons, their love remained constant and unwavering. One evening, as the sun began its descent and the world was painted in hues of pink and orange, little Nut Brown gazed up at Nut Brown with a thoughtful look. Guess how much I love you, he whispered, his voice soft and sincere. Nut Brown met little Nut Brown's gaze, his eyes filled with tenderness. I'm not sure, he replied, his voice a gentle caress. How much do you love me? Little Nut Brown nestled close to Nut Brown, his heart beating in rhythm with his companion. I love you as far as the river flows and as high as the mountains touch the sky, he said, his words carrying the weight of a thousand sunsets. Nut Brown smiled down at Little Nut Brown his heart overflowing with a love that was as vast as the universe itself. He wrapped his arms around his companion, holding him close. I love you as far as the river flows and as high as the mountains touch the sky, he whispered, his voice a soft promise that would endure through time. And so, in the meadow, where wildflowers swayed and the sun and moon shared their gentle light, Nut Brown and Little Nut Brown discovered that love was a language that needed no word. It was a bond that transcended the boundaries of the world, a connection that could be felt in every heartbeat and shared glance. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.